Here we are in the left shoulder, chronic AC separation in the subacromial space, viewed posteriorly with instrument in the lateral portal doing a bursectomy and ablation cautery suction device, debriding under the old AC joint, seen in the uh, distal aspect of the view with the posterior aspect of the CA ligament above. We're using the posterior border of the CA ligament as our guide down to the tip of the coracoid. We're debriding on our distal clavicle, here seen manually reduced in the foreground, cleaning off the bursal tissue medially in the capsule inferior to the old acromioclavicular joint. We continue to remove the soft tissue above the supraspinatus and rotator cuff medially under the lateral aspect of the clavicle. Identified our AC joint viewed posteriorly, looking superiorly. Up, we see the cystic degenerative changes in the distal clavicle. We return down to the lateral portal to view and to continue to clean up the bursal tissue underneath the uh, distal clavicle. We'll eventually develop an auxiliary anterolateral portal. Here we can see in the distance the CA ligament as it abuts indirectly the tip of the soft tissue covered coracoid. We'll bring a spinal noodle into our accessory anterolateral portal, followed by an ablation cautery suction device. We are abutting the end uh, bluntly and then ablating the soft tissue off the concavity and lateral margin and tip of the coracoid. The CA ligament is seen intact above and again it remains as our guide. We debride the tissue below and lateral to the tip of the coracoid to uh, clear off our space to eventually place our Arthrex graft rope AC joint reconstruction guide underneath the base of the coracoid through the anterolateral portal. Again, we're viewing through the lateral portal and we continue to clean off the soft tissue to improve our visualization and to make easy our passage of the graft construct and passing sutures. Once we're happy with our visualization, we continue to clear off the medial remnants of any bursal tissue and control any bleeding with the hemostasis uh, aspect of the device. We're marking our drill hole here with the cautery in the midpoint of the base of the coracoid inferiorly. We'll then re replace the cautery device with our Arthrex graft rope guide. Uh, the spoon type guide has a hook on the end to feel the far cortex of the, of the coracoid. We uh, use a fixed angle guide akin to an ACL guide drills down through the coracoid in an anatomical location about three and a half centimeters medial to the AC joint and distal clavicle. We over ream with a six millimeter cannulated reamer, remove the central drill, even our cannulated reamer in place. We then pass a nitinol passing suture looped wire for eventual passage of our graft rope construct. The lead suture is a striped tiger wire suture, seen here as it's passed uh, via the nitinol wire as we visualize the inferior circumferential margins of our coracoid drill hole. We're now ready to deploy the coracoid fixation device through which a double looped number five fiber wire suture in a pulley type system is secured along with a allograft tibialis anterior for biological reconstruction along with our number five fiber wire. Here we are tightening the construct down to the pulley system with the washer on the clavicle. We're seeing our reduced clavicle here against the posterior subacromial portal. And again, we have abutment of the distal clavicle and the chromium, so we'll eventually do a distal clavicle resection after tying down our construct and securing our graft with a interference peak screw and complete. Here's a final floor scan view AP of our reduced acromioclavicular joint with a modest distal clavicle resection and the anatomic reduction back to a centimeter of the coracoclavicular distance with the shadow of our drill hole and the graft rope implant in place.